So good to be here. Thank yes. you. So appreciate you. Mm. So I've been getting into the receiving mode more and more. And why? For fun. Because it feels good. I like it. Good. Yeah. And I've been getting more and more momentum and then getting to these spaces where the receiving mode, when I'm building momentum, it's I'm getting nice thoughts that are uplifting to me. You're not building momentum, you're allowing momentum to build. Ah, nice, yeah. It's natural that it builds, you're just not in the way, so yes. it builds. Yeah, I'm just perfect surrendering and it just yeah. builds and builds. And then I'll get to this point where the moment or the receiving mode will say, what do you want to talk about? And I'll get to actually have a, I'll, I'll ask a question and I'll get an answer kind of like this. And I, it's not what I would say, so I feel like I'm getting it from from my inner being, and so that's been really fun. Logical assumption. Makes sense. And then I would, this is recent in the last couple months, and then I would come home and I would in, engage with some old uh, energies that would throw me, kind of feel like I crashed and burned, and, and then that was off-putting. You didn't crash and burn, you just introduced right. sand to the trail, and when you're going that fast, you do yeah. crash and burn. Yeah. And so I started, I spent a lot of time uh, really forcefully trying to fix and clear things. And Have I've, that work out. I've let that go. It's, yeah. bad, it's a bad idea. Yeah. Um, and so I've, I've been in more of an allowing mode. And so when I was... How do you orchestrate an allowing mode? I wake up, I will meditate. But, but when you find yourself in that mode where you catch yourself in the act, mm -hmm of resistance, yep. what do you do? Uh, so when we were driving over down here from Canada, we had a little line at the border and I got all out of whack because I thought, oh, I should have gone to a different border crossing. And I just stopped and I kind of tried to just not think about it, quiet my mind. I, I gave myself a couple of, it looks like we're going to get through on time, it's okay, whatever. And then within 15 minutes, I was back in the receiving mode and, and I, I just sort of tried to not think about it and add positive general things where I could and... So we have a question for you. Yeah. Was your decision to focus and breathe and feel better, was it to affect the stopping or was it because you just really wanted to feel good? I wanted to feel good and I wanted to be in the receiving mode to get up here. <laughs> but was the decision to get into alignment in order to improve a circumstance. Improve a feeling. Because we were already in the lineup, we couldn't turn around, there's nothing we could do. Then so what was the negative emotion there to begin with? It was, it was just, like you said, me being mad at me for choosing the wrong border crossing. So it didn't have as much to do with the border crossing as it had to do with you being mad at you. Yeah. So was the reason that you wanted to come into alignment with who you are in order to fix you being mad with you, or was the reason that you wanted to be in alignment just because it feels better to be in alignment? Yeah, it just feels better. Well, we know that you want to think it is that way, and this is the process for sure, mm. but the reason that we're nitpicking here is because almost everyone who's willing to do these dumb tricks we're teaching you is because you want to affect a situation you want to change something right here and now yeah it's about that how could it not be about that that just happened don't deny that it happened it happened and it sucks it sucks that you get delayed when you don't want to be delayed in other words don't deny this thing happened but just pay attention to what you're doing next that then allows the energy to flow and what you did next did allow the energy to flow but unless you're doing that for that reason, to allow alignment, why did you do that? Because I wanted to feel good. And it made this happen. Oh, so you didn't do it because you wanted to make that happen? Well, kind of, sort of. But I really did want to feel good. And we want you to, all of you, to get to the point where it's feeling good you're after and everything else will fall into place. Otherwise, so, for example, Esther's coming across the border like that. And she's got to be here because you all are going to be here. And so she really wants to be here. And she gets delayed. And so it's like hitting a tree going 100 miles an hour because 
she would go into strong worry about it. So is she delayed? Yes. Does her inner being know that she's delayed? Yes. Now, what thought comes next is what we're wanting to call your attention to. Her thought might say, I hate these unnecessary border things. Her inner being is not going there. So now she's off and running a little bit, more momentum. Or she might say, I knew we should have left earlier, but so-and-so decided that they didn't want to leave earlier. In other words, assigning motive, assigning motive to the border guards, assigning motive to your incorrect decision, assigning motive to somebody asking for the transportation, not with enough notice, somebody getting the wrong transportation. In other words, did all of that happen? Yes, 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 yes. But it's that pushing against thing that is what trips you up. And if you can hear that and just softly let yourself receive what you want to receive, you will be amazed at how much more smoothly your world goes. But we're not teaching this to you because we think you want a smooth world because you do all kinds of things that are really hard just for fun. <laughs> when you climb those mountains around here, you don't do it for ease. You do it for exhilaration. And so we're just fine tuning with you because you are way out there on the leading edge and a little bit of tweaking when you're moving like you are can make a huge difference in the steadiness of feeling good. So what, what really helped me was, um, I, I just, I heard it, even though I've heard it a few times, I heard your, um, calibration process and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give that a real shot. And I started to do that when I would encounter a negative emotion that felt like it was kind of older and it wasn't just a passing thing. It was something that had come up over and over again. And I would just take the thing and say, you know, I'm, I'm upset about this. And then, but however, in my, in my life, dominantly, I feel blah, blah, we blah. We want to give you another example. So Mark, are these the new projectors or the old ones? Old ones? Several weeks ago, Mark and Esther had a conversation about getting some projectors that were brighter and clearer. And Mark researched it and found them. And Esther said, order them. They cost as much as a car. Depends on your car. But let them know. Find out if they're available because we want them in a timely manner. And so Mark did that and Esther felt a little uneasiness about it. Why? Because she's been focused on supply chain shortages. So she's got that going on, stuck in her vibrational craw. And so she has this feeling that they might not come, an opinion, and something in her makes her want to make that opinion right, even though she wants the new projectors to come. You following? So she says, okay, go ahead and order them, but let's make sure that they're gonna get here on time. So then they find out that they're not gonna get here on time. And Esther's saying to herself in that justifying mode, what good's a guidance system if it doesn't show you stuff that's important? So now she's defending her guidance system. Even though she wants the projectors to come, she's defending I knew they weren't going to come. Now she's mad at the people who told them they were going to come. Oh, but that's not enough. Now she's really got to double down. I think they knew they weren't going to come. <laughs> and that's what my guidance system was all about. They knew and I knew. Are you hearing this? Even though she wants the projectors to come, she's doubling down on them not coming she's assigning motive to why they didn't make it and she's holding herself in a vibrational frequency that if something doesn't change they're never gonna get here well mark's positive thought will get them here eventually but not without a lot of struggle imposed by esther who would rather be right than have the projectors <laughs> are you sort of getting the sense we're exaggerating it a, a tiny little bit 
and so that's what this new process is because you're doing it without even knowing you're doing it and in this case it was some company in other words supply chain is sort of slowed down there are some things that you can't get but it is the demonizing of it or the trying to point fingers at it that makes you be a perpetuator of what you don't want a protester against what you don't want instead of an advocate for what you do want that's really the easiest way to hear it did you hear it so what I'm wondering is with everything that I'm doing what else can I either add in or should I do less of like should I try and calibrate most things that happen that seem to be have strong momentum and be as specific as you can be and still feel good and mm. keep the emphasis as you are keeping it on releasing resistance when you're aware that you have it and this is the new piece for you that's why we gave it to you with such emphasis because you're a teacher you want to get it right you want to show off your skills at being a good teacher everybody who's a good teacher wants to do that but it's got to be all right with you that you're teaching calibration in real time what I'm noticing is that when I'm when I was sitting in the chair and something would come up that felt like an old energy that I um, that felt like something negative um, my instinct was because I was already feeling so good and being here and because I wanted to stay in the vortex with my instinct was just to completely ignore it and just not give it any attention Well, let's talk about something here first mm. every subject is two subjects so when you really feel good the other end of the stick is activated about sometimes you haven't felt good in other words it's just all part of it so don't make a big thing about that you're kind of making a big thing about that in your wanting to discern it and in your wanting to define it don't make a big thing about it in every moment that you want something what you don't want is in the vicinity somewhere because you can't even know what you do want without knowing what you don't want so there's this constant thing that you are synthesizing that's moving it's dynamic all the time and you just want to lean in the direction of what you want and the more you do that the easier it is to do that that is the easiest way to define that there's no right or wrong and you're still hung up on that you want to be a deliberate creator and you don't want to create by default and you want to be on the upper half of the emotional scale and you don't want to be on the lower half of the scale and we want it to be all right with you whether you're on the upper half or the lower half whether you're in step one or step three because you're figuring it all out just like you intended to do and nothing's going wrong here we we just went on a, a trip to this beautiful place called Salt Spring in BC and my intention was it for it to be this beautiful kind of uh, pre paving for Abraham and just like such a blissful experience from start to finish and it was the first two or two days were just completely ridiculous where these terrible things started happening and not terrible but these things happened that were just so un not normal for me and I, I had I, I don't usually attract things like that so feel this did that stuff happen yeah. yeah but feel how you're doubling down not normal for me I should have done better what was going on in other words trying too hard just let life come to you and do your best and then let life come to you and do your best to feel good in it and don't be so determined to always get it right because things are evolving we really want you to hear this if it's true and it is if it's true and it is that everything is always working out for you then isn't a moment of negative emotion like that part of it always working out for you and isn't it logical that someone with big intentions big dreams strong determination to be a deliberate creator isn't it logical that you would turn up the heat a little bit and define things in a little stronger way and give yourself more opportunities to come into that place of things being all right because if there's anything that is beneficial for you to know and teach it's that unconditional love means I like myself no matter what condition I'm standing in and I'm less and less likely to demonize the condition too if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next